It's Patrick Hutzel from IntensiveCareHotline.com with another quick tip for families in intensive care. So Brian asks, my mum is 80 and she's in ICU on BiPAP and she can't have anything to eat and drink. Do you know why? Yes, that is a quick question to and a quick answer. So when someone is on BiPAP in ICU for respiratory failure, the risk for aspiration pneumonia is pretty high. So that means the BiPAP is putting its BiPAP mask on the face, putting a lot of pressure in the lungs and often in the stomach as well. And therefore the risk for vomiting and nausea is high. And if there's vomiting um, and your mum would be aspirating water or food into the lungs, that means she's very likely to end up intubated and on the ventilator and in an induced coma. So therefore, that's the reason why she uh, won't have anything to eat and drink. Now, I hope they are still giving your mum nutrition. She should be having um, TPN, a TPN infusion via a central line or a pig line. TPN stands for total parenteral nutrition, also known as intravenous nutrition and it might be indicated in a situation like that so your mother is not going to be starved because she will need energy to get off the BiPAP. Now in order to wean her off the BiPAP because that is hopefully the next step you know I don't know what got your mother in this situation you haven't shared that um, you know let's just say for argument's sake she's got a pneumonia for example if she's got a pneumonia um, she um, you know, needs to be cleared of the pneumonia. Hopefully she's on IV antibiotics or if she's having a fungal pneumonia on antifungal medications or if she is having a viral pneumonia, hopefully she's on antiviral medication. But in any way, shape or form, once the pneumonia is cleared, hopefully she can be weaned off the BiPAP. Arterial blood gases should go hand in hand that they can gradually wean her off the BiPAP. Once she's off the BiPAP, she might need some nasal cannula oxygen or high flow nasal cannula oxygen and again she should hopefully be weaned off the BiPAP step by step. If she can't be weaned off the BiPAP step by step and she needs BiPAP on an ongoing basis again you haven't shared the reasons why a mother needs BiPAP um, you can have a look at intensivecareathome.com and you can find out if home care is an option for her you should just contact us there. In any case if you have a loved one in intensive care Go to intensivecarehotline.com and call us on one of the numbers on the top of our website or simply send us an email to support at intensivecarehotline.com. Also, if you have a loved one in intensive care on BiPAP and they're long-term BiPAP dependent, and they can't go anywhere but stay in ICU or if they're sitting on a respiratory ward with BiPAP, you should contact us at intensivecarehotline.com for home care. We can take patients home from intensive care. We are currently operating all over Australia and we can also help clients in the United States in certain areas. Please contact us as well. So that's my quick tip. Um, also, and at intensivecarehome.com also you can call, call us on one of the numbers on the top of our website or send us an email to info at intensivecarehome.com. Also, have a look at our membership for families in intensive care at intensivecaresupport.org. There you have access to me and my team 24 hours a day and we answer all questions intensive care related. Um, and if you need a medical record review, please contact us as well. Um, we can review or we do review medical records for patients in ICU and also after ICU, especially if you're, if you're having unanswered questions, if you're needing closure peace of mind, or if you're looking for medical negligence, we can help you with all of that as well. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for regular updates for families in intensive care. Uh, share the video far and wide. Um, click the like button, click the notification bell and comment below what you want to see next or what questions and insights you have from this video. Thank you so much for watching. This is Patrick Hutzel from IntensiveCareHotline.com and IntensiveCareAtHome.com and I'll talk to you in a few days. Take care for now.